Mercedes is bringing more upgrades for the upcoming F1 Spanish Grand Prix next week. Upgrades brought by Mercedes this year have added tremendous performance on the W15 so far. In Monaco when they introduced the initial major upgrade to the W15 which included the controversial front wing, little tweaks to the floor edges and winglets improved handling in the slow speed corners around Monte Carlo while in Canada, the Brackley-based team enjoyed their strongest weekend of the year, which indicates that finally Mercedes are starting to get a hold on the issues that pegged the W15 behind. The introduction of an upgraded floor next week in the Spanish Grand Prix should improve overall downforce in slow and high-speed corners which has been the major issue for Mercedes since the start of the new regulations. The upgrades next week according to Mercedes, should get them closer in the fight with Red Bull. In other news, Helmut Marko has suggested that Red Bull may have denied themselves a stronger driver lineup by extending Sergio Perez's contract until at least the end of 2025. According to Marco, Red Bull chose team unity, and less teammate infights by extending Perez's contract. Carlos Sainz joining Red Bull would have meant that Max Verstappen would be fighting with Sainz for race wins, which wouldn't have gone down well in different camps of Red Bull, we all remember what happened between Ricardo and Max, but leaving that aside. Sergio Perez and Red Bull have been penalized by the stewards, for asking Perez to drive a car with serious mechanical difficulties back to the pits. The stewards ruled that, driver and team had broken Article 26.10 of F1 sporting regulations, which states, if a driver has serious mechanical difficulties, he must leave the track as soon as it is safe to do so. Obviously Red Bull were trying not to get a safety car, because Max was leading the race, so they asked Perez to drive back to the pits and in doing that, they landed themselves a fine of €25,000 and drop of three grid positions for the next race, that means even if Perez gets pole position in Spain, he will start fourth on the grid.